and minimalists. <laughs> if you would have walked into my suburban home a decade ago, you would have found a three bedroom house with four toilets and a two and a half car garage, a full basement and two living rooms, and two people who lived there. It was just me and, and my former spouse. And if you walk into my house right now, you may not walk in and say, what is, what's wrong with this family? They're a bunch of minimalists. We're not monks. We don't live in a monastery. We're, we're not ascetics either. We're not depriving ourselves. We've brought in only the things that add value to our lives. And so when Rebecca and I moved out here to California with Ella, we started asking some questions about how we wanted our space to look. We knew that while we really admire the folks who live in tiny homes or micro apartments, that really wasn't ideal for us. Also, the huge suburban McMansion was not ideal for us either. So we found a nice two bedroom apartment in an apartment building that works well for our current needs. When we moved here, we didn't have a whole lot of things to move into the space. And so very deliberately, we slowly populated the space with things that we needed. So when you first walk into our home, you'll notice a, a pretty simple entryway, a, a coat rack with a couple hats, maybe a few jackets on it. You walk off to the, to the left, you'll notice we have a, a simple kitchen. First thing you'll see is our junk drawer, which Ryan has accused me of being aggressively organized even with my junk drawer. If you take a look at the kitchen counters, you'll see that they're pretty much empty. That's because the only things we keep on top of the kitchen counters are the things that we use every single day. Everything else gets put away in its appropriate place. If it's a blender or a pressure cooker or utensils, those are all in their appropriate cabinets or drawers. If you take a look at our living room, we spent several months finding the couch that was appropriate for us, trying things out. You know, it was funny, when we first moved here and didn't have a couch for several months, Ella didn't mention it once. And there were several weeks we didn't even have a dining room table and we were eating on the floor, or on countertops, or at my desk. And it was totally okay. I'm complete in an empty room. Therefore, the things that I've brought into my life, into my home, they must augment or amplify my experience of life. Also, our entire family needs to be able to agree on those things. Otherwise, we don't bring them in either. So whether it's sitting in my favorite reading chair, hanging out on the couch with Bex and Ella, or eating dinner at our dining table, writing at my desk, all of the things that are there they simply augment my experience of life. You can go to my bedroom and we have a bed and a chair and a dresser and a closet with some clothes in it. Ella has yeah, a good number of toys for sure. I know the average kid in the United States right now has about 300 toys but plays with only about 12 of them daily. The thing that we do with Ella when we bring new toys in we try to help her identify which toys she's no longer playing with so she can let go of those and also understand where those toys are going so that if she gets rid of them, she's not just getting rid of the toy, but she's getting rid of them so someone else can play with those toys. In terms of artwork and aesthetics, the thing with minimalism is the bones are the beauty. By stripping away all the excess stuff, we're able to really appreciate the most beautiful things in our life. We have a few plants around our house and out on our patio. I think the furniture itself can be artwork if it's curated carefully. We don't have a whole lot of artwork on the walls, but we do have a few things that we really enjoy, and usually they're, they're multi-purpose. Our bookshelf, for example, is not only does it serve a purpose, it stores the few books that we hold on to for reference or books that we are in the middle of reading, but also it serves as a sort of piece of artwork, a tower of art. The plants do the same thing. Not only do we have nice plants, but they look good, they break up the space, and they add a, a layer of beauty, of living beauty that you wouldn't get without them. However, we don't hold on to any of these things too tightly. I bring the appropriate things in in hopes that we can use them for a long period of time, but also knowing that if they become inappropriate at any time, I am willing to let go.
Cool. Thank you, gentlemen. How you feeling? You good? I'm good. You good? How's my hair, Sean? <laughs> Your hair is perfect. Stay uh, right. Okay, there. don't move. All right, I got you. Let's do it. The Minimalists.